the state of Illinois. There's magic in the air. Catch a winning ticket and make your dreams come true. Tonight on Illinois' Luckiest. Luckiest. Good to have you along tonight. We got tons of cash to give away, and let's get right into giving it away, shall we? Right. We'll meet our first six contestants. Welcome to all of you. You're each holding envelopes. Feel free to just go right ahead and start opening up those envelopes. Each one contains a different answer to this polling question that uh, I'm about to read. We ask people all across the state of Illinois this question Which group do you consider to be the biggest heroes? Oh. Top three answers to that question going to be joining us for our first game tonight, all right? Let's start uh, down on the end. We've got Beverly. Hi, Hi Beverly. Beverly. What's yours? Firemen. Oh. Firemen. Thank major, you. Major, major hero. Now, Beverly, <laughs> if Fireman is in the top three, you're going to be joining us to play Knockout, okay? We're going to move on to uh, Jim from Franklin right, Park. Jim, Jim what would you select? Let's see. Armed Forces. Armed Forces. Major right. heroes. Major heroes. What about Donald right. from Gerard? What would you select? Teachers. 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 <laughs> Got to be brave to be a teacher, that's for sure. <laughs> we, got, uh, we have Richard from Chicago. What did you pick? Astronauts. Astronauts. All right. All right. These are all tough ones. Woo. They could all be in the top three. Bill from Park Ridge, what did you get? Professional athletes. There you go. Got to be. <laughs> and is it Helena? Yes, it is. From Chicago? A cop. The oh. police. <laughs> got to be. Major heroes. This is a tough one. I don't know what the top three are going to be. We're going to find oh, no. out right now, though. <laughs> Which group do you consider to be the biggest heroes? The most popular answer to that question, firemen. Oh. That's Beverly. Oh, All right. The number two answer is teachers. Donald, that's you. And the number three answer is the armed forces. Jim, that's you. Will the three of you come and join me over this way? Let's get ready to play the So good luck at that, but that's not all. You won these instant tickets. Beat the dealer and win with your Blackjack instant ticket. Top prize, $2,100, and win up to four times. All right, contestants, congratulations on joining us. So we're going to play a little game here called Knockout. Linda is going to turn on that cube there in just a moment. It's going to go bouncing all over the place. It's going to knock over everything in its path. The question for you guys, how many seconds will the cube go without knocking over either one of those pins? Okay, we're going to see which one of you is willing to commit to the highest number of seconds. We're going to start the bidding off with you. Okay, if you're ready, take a look here. What do you think, Beverly? How many seconds will the cube go before knocking over either one of those pins? I'm going to start with six. Six seconds. All right, so that means the bid to you, Jim. Six seconds. Do you want to go, go higher? Seven seconds. You want to go seven seconds? Seven seconds. Donald, seven seconds. Do you want to make it eight? No. All right, so it's going to be seven seconds. Jim has the bid. What that means, Jim, the cube goes seven seconds without knocking over a pin. You're going to win $2,000. Not bad at all. However, if you're wrong, feel free to applaud. $2,000 is a lot of money. If you're wrong, Beverly and Donald are each going to get $2,000, all right? So let's start off with seven seconds on the clock, please. All right. Here we go, Lindy. You ready? First time, let's go. Ready, and go. $2,000. Congratulations. We'll move on to the next round. This round is worth $3,000. And this time, Jim, we're going to start the bidding with you. How many seconds do you think the cube is going to go this time without knocking over either one of those pins? Oh, I'd say five seconds. You think five seconds yeah. this time? So, Donald, the bid to you is five. Do you want to go higher? Seven. Seven seconds, making the big leap. <laughs> All right, Beverly, do you want to make it eight? I'll make it eight. You are going to make it eight. Okay. That means Beverly has a bid for eight seconds. So, Beverly, what that means to you is that if the cube does go eight seconds without knocking over a pin, you're going to win $3,000, which would put you in the lead, of course. And if not, then Jim and Donald both are going to win $3,000 each. All right? Whoever wins the most money at the end of this game gets a $10,000 bonus. That's what you're all kind of heading for here. All right? Good luck. All We're right. going to take uh, eight seconds on the clock, please. Right. There we go. Ready and go. Congratulations. 
We are now up to our final round. This round worth $5,000. We start the bidding, Donald, with you down on the end. How many seconds do you think the cube's going this time? Seven. You say seven seconds? Beverly, you want to go higher than that? No. No? And Jim, what about you? You want to make it eight? How about eight, yeah. How about eight? Okay, <laughs> eight it is. Jim's got the bid with eight seconds. Jim, if you're right, you're going to win the $10,000 bonus, all right? Okay. Good luck to you. We're going to take eight seconds on the clock. We've got it. Linda. All right. All right, you ready? And go. $10,000 bonus, $17,000 is what you want. Beverly, you did a great job. You got 3000 bucks. And Donald, you're doing just fine. Nobody leaves here empty handed. You're one of Illinois' luckiest. You got $500. All of these contestants will be coming back. We have $100,000 pinball at the end of the show. Any one of them could walk off with $100,000. You don't want to miss it. Come on back. group of six contestants and find out which three are going to be joining us for free fall. Hi, all you guys. Welcome. Good to have you here. You can feel free to start opening those envelopes that you have, each one, once again, containing an answer to this polling question. Who would you most like to have on your debating team? <laughs> well, they're all like laughing. I, would, uh, I don't like know. Like I would be on a debating team. <laughs> Let's start down on the end from New Lennox. Let's it's see. Bobby O. Bobby, what answer did you pick? William F. Buckley. William oh. F. Buckley would be awesome to have on the team. Now, if, if Bill Buckley is uh, one of the top three, you're going to be joining us for our next game, all right? All right. Next, we have uh, Lynn from Newton. Lynn, all what right, did you pick? Lynn. Howard Stern. Oh. Howard. I wouldn't even want to sit next to the guy. Jeez. <laughs> Mina from Downers Grove. Mina. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Ooh, and hey. a chair. Yeah. He could dodge the chairs for you. Bob from Chicago, what answer did you pick? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah for sure. Oh. And uh, Marianne from Pell Lake. Johnny Cochran. Oh. <laughs> no argument there. No debate for me. Kathy from Chicago, what answer did you pick? Larry King. Larry King, for sure. Oh. All right. Oh, great. Let's see what the top three answers are, who you would want to have on your debating team. The most popular answer to that question, Oprah Winfrey, yeah. Bob. And then we have Johnny Cochran, Mary Ann, there you go. And the, most, the third most popular answer, Larry King, Kathy. Oh. All right, the three of you, come on over. All right. Well, join us. And the three of you still have a chance with the big money with a $100,000 pinball game at the end. So good luck at that, but that's not all. You've won these instant tickets. Herman, Lily, Eddie, and Grandpa, you've won the Munsters instant ticket. Top prize, $3,000. Contestants, let's play free fall, shall we? I'm going to get the game going for you. I'll launch the first ball. All right. And Linda, who of our three contestants is going to be launching the next ball worth $2,000? First contestant, number three. All right, we're going to go way down on the end. Kathy, that's you. You can just number three and get a hold of the remote. All you got to do is give that little button there a push. Go right ahead. And uh, let's let the ball settle. And there you go. Now push it once again. Now we're going. All you got to do is find one of the seven empty slots. If you land in an empty slot, you're going to win $2,000. Land in a slot with a ball in it, you're going to be eliminated from play. That's not what happened to you, bro. All right, you're on the board, Kathy. You got $2,000. Nice job. Uh, whoever wins the most amount of money in this game is going to get the $10,000 bonus, all right? All of our contestants in play. Next ball worth $4,000. Linda, who's it going to be? Number two. All right, Marianne, that's you. Take a hold of the remote. Good luck to you. This ball worth four grand. Find an empty slot, it'll put you in the lead. Go right ahead, shoot away. Still lots and lots of empty slots. Lots of cash. There you go. All right, Mary Ann, good job. You're in the lead now with $4,000. Next ball worth $6,000. Linda, who do we have this time? All right, Mark, number one. All right, Bob, it's you. Let's get in the game. Once again, just press away and find an empty slot this time. $6,000 is what you win. You go into the lead. Whoa! What's we got going? Bob now in the lead with $6,000. All of our contestants still in play. Right. Linda, who's it going to be for $8,000? All right, let's see. Number three. All right, go back to Kathy. 
You can hand the remote down to Kathy. You got a decision to make, Kathy. Before you shoot this ball, you've got two thousand dollars. You can decide if you like to take the money that you have and just and stop playing and hope that uh, you'll be happy with 2,000 bucks. Or you can risk half of it and try and increase your lead. So what do you want to do? You want to keep your money or you want to go for it? I'm going to go for it. You're going to go for it? All right, Kathy, good luck. Four empty slots. Find one of them. We're going to add $8,000 onto your score. That'll put you in the lead, okay? Good luck. Go ahead. Now, Kathy, if you land in an occupied slot, you're winning to cut in half. You're going to be removed from play. You've got $10,000 and the lead. All Next right. ball is worth $10,000. Which of our three contestants Let's is it this see time? who it is. It's number one. Let's go down to Bob. That's you. All right, Bob, take a hold of uh, the remote. And you have a decision to make. You've got $6,000. You've got $6,000, Bob. You can decide if you like to just take that money and stop right now. Or you can risk half and go on and try and increase the amount of money that you have. Okay? Three empty slots to go. This $10,000, by the way, would put you in the lead. All right. What do you want to do? Go for it. All right, Bob is going to go for it. I wish you luck, Bob. Right. Good, Good luck. luck. If you find an empty slot, you'll be in the lead. If you land in an occupied slot, you're going to be removed from play. And you're winning cut in half. Oh. Bob, I'm sorry. That one didn't work out for you. That means that uh, you've got $3,000 and you're eliminated from play. We're down to two players now, Marianne and Kathy, head to head. Who is next for the ball worth $10,000, Linda? Me, number two. All right, Mary Ann, you've got $4,000. Here's your choice. You are behind now, so the only way for you to try and take the lead is to shoot this next ball, okay? That would be risking half of your money. You can choose if you like to take the $4,000 and stop right now, okay? That would guarantee that Kathy would win the game and the bonus. What do you want to do? I'll go for it. Okay, yeah. Kathy, I wish you luck. Shoot away. You've got three empty slots to fill. And if you land in an occupied slot, Mary Ann, the winnings will be cut in half. That means it's going to be Kathy's game and bonus. Congratulations, Mary Ann. Boy, did you take a chance. Mary Ann, you are out front with $14,000. This is a tight game. Who is next for $12,000, Linda? Here we go. Number two. Marianne again. Oh. All right, Marianne. Now, here's your, Marianne, you're in the lead now. So the question is, do you want to try and increase your lead by risking half of your money, or do you want to take your $14,000 and stop? I'm going to stop. You're going to stop here. We're going to freeze your money at $14,000. Kathy, now it's your choice. You've got $10,000. You can take your money, and you can decide to stop. That would guarantee that Marianne would win the game and the bonus. Or you can risk half and try and win the bonus yourself. What do you want to do? You've got two slots to fill. I'm taking the money. Take the money. All right, Kathy's going to take the 10 grand and stop. Mary Ann, congratulations with $14,000. You are our winner. Let's give her the $10,000 bonus. You got $24,000. Congratulations, Kathy. Nice job. $10,000 is what you've got. Bob, you did great too. Everybody's leaving with cash. $3,000. All of our contestants will be back for $100,000 pinball. Don't miss it. Come on back. Three is going to be joining us for our next game. Welcome to all of you, and uh, go ahead and open up the envelopes that you're holding in your hand. They each contain a different answer to this polling question. Whom would you trust most to keep a secret? Ooh. Let's start down on the end with you. Donald Larry from Villa Park. Donald? What did you your lawyer. Your, your lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> you better be able to trust your lawyer. Yeah. And uh, Charles from Milwaukee. What did you pick? Argument. A clergyman. Uh, Better be able to keep a secret. Bridget from Woodstock, what did you pick? Yourself. Yeah. Uh, Better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Calvin, what did you pick? Your best friend. Yeah. Uh, Boy, these are all really tough ones. I don't know what's going to be in the top three. Shirley know. from Chicago, which answer did you pick? My doctor. Yeah, I uh, hope so. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Pete from Highwood, what did you pick? My wife. Your spouse. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Joining us, who would you trust most to keep a secret? The number one answer, yourself. Bridget, that's you. The number two answer, your spouse. Pete, yeah. that's you. The number three answer, your best friend. That is Calvin.
$100 pinball game at the end, but that's not it. You've won these exciting tickets. Listen up. You've won I Dream of Greenies instant tickets. They're loaded with prize doublers. Top prize, $5,000. Three of Illinois' luckiest players and energetic. Are you ready to win some money? Yeah! All right! And look in front of you, because as you can see, there are ten powerful magnets spread in a circle, each, each with an equal chance of attracting this pendulum. Now, six of the magnets are marked win, and four are marked lose. We will stake each of you with $3,000 to begin with. Now, you can risk up to half your money, but that pendulum will land on a win. And if it does, we'll add what you've risked to your score. However, if it doesn't, you'll lose that amount. You ready? Write down what you're willing to risk. Remember, at the end of two rounds, the player with the highest score will win the $10,000 bonus. Everybody has written down what they're willing to risk. Good luck. We are not going to look at them yet. Let's release the pendulum. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a win. It's a win. to see, lose. We will deduct from your score what you've risked. So let's see. Bridget, how much did you risk? Show us. A thousand dollars. That takes your score to two thousand dollars. Calvin, show us what you've risked. I risked seven. Seven hundred. A little bit more conservative there. That takes your score to twenty-three hundred dollars. And Keith, he's laughing. What did you risk? Let's see it. Eight hundred. Okay. $2,200. Let's see what happens with the final swing of the pendulum. This time, as you can see, six of the magnets are marked lose. So the odds are slightly against you this time. But the good news is that you can double, triple, or even quadruple what you risk this time. Write down what you're willing to risk. The player with the highest score will win that $10,000 bonus. Once again, everybody has written down what they're willing to risk. We will look at it after we release the pendulum. Good luck, everybody. Let's hope it's time for oh, yeah. Time for it. Oh, come on. Oh, we want to see it. Four, four, four. One more. 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 One from your score, what you've risked. <laughs> I think I have an idea. I don't know. Bridget, how much did you risk? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. That takes your score to five hundred dollars. Yeah. You're still a winner. Let's see what happened. Pete, how much did you risk? Let's see. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Keep your score twenty-two hundred dollars, but it's all up to Calvin. It depends upon how much he risked. How much was it? Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. everybody. Stick with us. We've got a lot more money and a lot more fun. Get in on the fun. Every time you match three numbers playing lotto, you win a $1 instant game of your choice. And we're averaging 63,000 winners each draw. There's always a wide variety of instant games to play. No need to choose only one favorite. Now, Let's see how Illinois' luckiest are doing. Each week, our 25th anniversary cash player gets to draw a number from 1 to 50. The 25 players with the highest numbers will appear on our anniversary special next year. To make it on the list of finalists, this week's player, Peter Pirelli, had to beat the lowest number, 12. If you use one eight hundred car, A G T for collect car, who can win a trip to to see any concert in the USA? What are you doing? One eight hundred call A T T for collect calls. A concert winner for every day. Sorry. Another breakthrough from the one hour labs of lens crafters. New Featherweights Plus lenses. They're lighter, they're thinner, they're more impact resistant. And now they're twice as scratch resistant compared to regular plastic lenses. New Featherweights Plus. Only from lens crafters. Made in about an hour. Some things can never be taught in a classroom. 
find them in any textbook. And with Fixident's long-lasting hold, you'll be ready, no matter where the lesson takes you. For long-lasting hold, Fixident, and forget it. Looking vibrant is reserved for the very young. Do you believe that? In Europe, women like us have tested a breakthrough concept in skincare. New Pro Vital from Oil of Olay. The healthy radiance feels like it's coming back. These products are created especially for maturing skin. Formulas that can immediately change the look of the skin. Now Pro Vital from Oil of Olay is available in the U.S. I love the feel of my skin again. New Pro Vital from Oil of Olay. Proven to help you look revitalized. The sun will rise. Winter will come, and water will taste as fresh today as it did a thousand years ago with Britta. All right, it's time for a $100,000 pinball. We've wheeled in the huge machine during the break. All 18 of our contestants were asked to choose which of three slots the giant pinball was going to land in. They have all made their selections. They're all now standing behind those slots. Somebody could be winning $100,000 here. Contestants, are you guys ready to launch the ball? Yeah. yeah! Let's do it. Launch the ball. There it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, Two and three, I'm going to have to ask you to take your seats. Now you need to select which of these four slots the next ball will land in. Go ahead and make your selection right now. Let's see if you guys can keep your luck going. Don't feel, whatever slot you feel, is, is that, you good, good with that one, Calvin? Okay. All right, you guys, let's uh, keep your luck going. Let's release the ball. Good luck. If you guys can survive this round. If you guys can survive this round. Marianne! All right, Marianne, what a night. Already 24 grand on free fall. Marianne, we're up to the final round. If you can survive this final round, Marianne, you will be Illinois' luckiest this week. Pick which of the five slots this final ball is going to go into. Go ahead and make your selection now. Marianne, slot number two. Good luck to you, Marianne. You've had great luck already. Let's launch the ball. Here it comes. If the ball lands in slot number two, Marianne, we're going to add $100,000 on. A total of $170,000 out the door on Illinois' Luckiest. Somebody could win another $100,000 next week. Come on back to Illinois' Luckiest. Good night. Good night. Mark Goodman's wardrobe courtesy of Sid Jerome. Linda Kohlmeyer's wardrobe provided by Cache, 900 North Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Catering provided by Cafe Penelope, a great place to go for lunch and dinner near the United Center. This is Tony Russell speaking for Illinois' Luckiest, a Jonathan Goodson production.